Hey guys, it's Clint and Shell. Hi guys. Uh, sorry I didn't get to a video sooner, but you know, I was working on. I'm making ball cozies. Uh, I had shown you. Uh, I bought a whole set of these. I don't know, a year or two ago, and they're tin plates. And this is the smallest we have. And then of course this is the next one up. I like that they can sit together. So, uh, Shell bought, I was going to grab one of the bowls to show it to you. She bought a, a set of bowls, um, and they're wide. They're not very deep. They're only maybe an inch and a half deep, which uh, she eats them, uses them all the time. I use them once in a while, but yeah, she's going to get one of the bowls just to show you. So, this one is six inches. I think, yeah. Six inches. And then this is a small one, like I was saying. And this is one I would, would I don't really use them very often. Um, but I do use them every now and then. So I'm just making one of these. I actually ran out of batting. And I had went through and I had cut stuff. So this is mine, of course, with the chickens. So here's the bowl. Look how big this thing is. It's like eight inches or something. Yeah, it's eight inches. So it's not, it's pretty wide. So uh, I figured it out. It should be just right. Hopefully, good Lord willing. And so I'm making her two. Uh, like I said, I had worked a little bit on it. Uh, I had watched uh, Creative Grids. You know, I'm a big fan of the Creative Grids uh, rulers and stuff. Uh, I thought that's what these were, but they're not. Uh, I think we're going to have a visitor. Um, we'll see. But I was going to do the video yesterday, but my little black and white girl wouldn't let me do anything. She was laying right here against my sewing machine. And sound asleep. I don't know how long she was sleeping there. Probably a good two hours. And she's very, very, very attached. Uh, it kind of makes me sad sometimes because I hate to see her. Because she gets really sad when I have to leave. And it really does bother her. But, you know, she and I, it's just what it is. And um, So, yeah, I went ahead and I watched the video with the Creative Grid templates. Um... I will show you the way she did it. I, uh, I don't know. I think I would, I'm going to do mine different. Because uh, I did do one, I tried to cut it the way she did. And it wasn't hard until I got to the batting. And my rotary cutter is very sharp because I sharpen it all the time. Because I have, uh, you know, I use the, uh, true cut rotary cutter this is it's nice in my hand it's really comfortable they also make a knife sharpener um you know a rotary sharpener sorry and so i i sharpen my stuff quite regularly so i know my blade is sharp and you can even tell that by looking at the so but, yeah, so I got these, we got, I can't remember where we bought these, actually. I know it was at a yard sale, I think, the fabric. I didn't iron them, really. Um, so what I did is I have a, I thought I had a creative garage ruler, but it's not. It's a, it's the one with the yellow on one side and the black, I hate that ruler but it's perfect for cutting a square <laughs> I don't like using it for actually cutting um, you know a square out of a piece of fabric it's easier just to do the outside so it was a 12 and a half inch square I could have swore I had a creative grids ruler but I had a whole bunch of pin, pin refills that's baby girl and um, I can't find those either so I don't know what happened there because I use the erasable pins so you just fold it she's playing 
So, then you fold it again. Now, yeah, these are so nice. But I did have issues a little bit going around the curve. So, this has got a non-slip. What you eating? Trumix. Nuts. Huh? Trumix. Oh, really? She's eating Trumix. Okay. This has a non-slip coating on the back. The Grade of Grids has circles. They have that on the rulers, too. I actually spray my rulers with the non-stick stuff. Or non-slip. Sorry. So. You know where it gets on, though? Uh, I do. So far, uh, let me pause the video. In the headphone. She's watching. Uh, what is it? Hallmark Mysteries. Garage Sale Mysteries. Mysteries? Uh -huh. So, I don't know. Not my cup of tea, but uh, with me talking, she's having a hard time hearing it. So I had to find my wireless headphones that she uses. So your folded edge and your folded edge. So, so I like I said, mine. You know. You know, when she did this, she didn't tell you how big to do your square. It wasn't that big of a deal. You could find out just by, you know, doubling up. But anyway. So, yeah, like, yeah, the curve, it just doesn't want to make that curve very easy. And like I said, it is, I know it's sharp. It really is sharp. Okay, there's one. Okay, uh, let me find my other piece of fabric. Where did it go? Oh, you guys know how it is with me. Huh. There it is. Oh, no, it's not yet. oh that's right. I, I ended up only cutting, needing to cut one because I didn't need to me show you cutting both of them because you need two pieces of fabric and two. Uh, uh, Batting for each bowl. So, okay. So, since that one's there, that one's ready to go. I'm going to show you the way she did it. So, I, like I said, I really think it was a pain in the butt. Truthfully. And probably wouldn't be as bad if I had my... I thought about getting my... Um, carving knife, you know, because it's so sharp, but I don't think sharpness is the issue. Now, I have two types of batting. I have a hot pad batting, which is heat, and then the other one is a plain old, like a quilt batting. I only had so much of one, so, and I, I think this might be, it's thick, so, uh, hers might have been thinner. I don't think she said what how th thin it was or thick it was. So, but yeah, so, I me. Mean, like I said, I just to me it was a doing it this way was a pain in the tuchus. And you guys know how I am. I'm not really good at. I just kind of do my own thing. You guys know how I am. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that's just the way it is. Let me stand up because I'm really trying to want to make sure I get it. Okay, same thing. You cut it like you did the fabric, but that you think? I mean, that's probably close to a half inch of bad. See what I mean? It. Look at that. 
I mean, it's just, like I said, I mean, my cutter is sharp. Okay. See, look at that. It just, And you know this my cutting mat is a turn turn it turns but when you have to put so much force on it you don't want to mess it up so I hate this I really do no nope, don't like it one bit to me this is too much effort And the other way may take a few more minutes, but to me, it's worth not having to struggle just to cut your stupid batting. Okay. See what I mean? God, I mean, it's miserable trying to cut it. So, um, let me get my other... Like so, there it is, okay. Whew. I mean, that really seriously gave me a workout. It really did. I'm gonna be sore in another 10, 15 minutes, you watch. That really seriously gave me a workout. I work out enough as it is. <laughs> uh, she can't hear me because she's got her headphones on. I'm not too worried about it if it's not quite exactly right because you can stretch batting. So, okay, my way. Um, you know, I have I bought really nice scissors, um, big scissors, but they're they're. Um, And they work pretty good, but thing is, okay. so I want to make, um, make sure I turn it back on there. Um, okay, I got those edges are good okay so go ahead I'm gonna take my ruler and my rotary cutter see what I mean it's just so much easier uh, and like I said I know it maybe it takes a few minutes more but it really isn't worth the other way. It's just not worth the hassle. I don't think. I think it's, um, yeah. But you do it however you want to. I really don't care. You guys know what my motto is. I don't give a rat's ass. This is the way I do it. And you know, if you have a better way of doing it, I'm more than happy for you. I just. So, we know that that side's right because I made sure to line it up. So, yeah, these scissors, my little tiny ones I bought, they're from Grand Junction. I bought them on Etsy. Let me, I'm gonna... There you go. So... Now, the other ones, the bigger ones, when you got to the tip, it just didn't want to, um, cut it right at the very tip of your, been having a 
and really bad um, fibromyalgia flares. Like my fibromyalgia has been somewhat under control. I mean, it's been kind of in remission, but um, been knows the last like three weeks. It's been having a flare, so I know I've been shaking a lot more than I used to. surprised my little baby girl wasn't up here but I think oh she's sleeping in my rocker she really loves sleeping in my rocker she sleeps in it most of the day she wants to be with me I had a we had a cat named Cuddles believe it or not she was we live next to the post office and we pulled up to and we're on the highway we pulled up and there's this little orange, Chelsea, there's a little kitten. And it was a little tiny orange kitten, not very old. And I named her Cuddles. And she was, without a doubt, my soul cat. And she was so much company, but she would have to be with me all the time. And she wouldn't get into things, you know. I could be doing stained glass and she wouldn't try to get it. She would just lay. I would usually make her a, like a little bed or whatever. And we lost her to diabetes. And it's been, I think, nine years now. I think. Nine or ten. I can't quite remember. I miss her every day. But baby girl is uh, exactly like she is. Except she, she does kind of want to get into stuff here and there. But nothing bad. Not like some other cats would do and but she is just like her and you know I'm talking about my little L-U-C-Y girl like I said I want to wake her up because she's sleeping and so but yeah and she, she's definitely my soul I call her soul anchor, soul cat her part are both that way I would have been blessed, you know. Found my soulmate wife, blah, 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 soulmate wife, and my two babies, and I'm blessed. But she has just been a godsend too. I just adore my little girl. I know she has kind of. You know she's adopted the brat, that little one-eyed brat. And um, I just love them to death. But so the, this part I'm actually not going to do the way she did. Now I'll show it to you real quick. Um, let me just do this like it is now. I'm not gonna. So what she did, she took a corner to corner like that. She creased these two right here, and then she drew a line on it. That was for your you sew it one time, make an X. To me, that doesn't even make sense when you have the V right here. Why don't you just go, ch ch I don't know. I don't know, maybe because it's too wide. I don't know. I don't see a problem with it, so I'm just going to do that. And you can even, I thought about maybe, you can do a decorative quilting if you want to. But, I mean, these things are going to get dirty. No matter how much you wash them, they're still going to get stains on them. And I don't know if it's really necessary. So I ended up, I got a chalk pencil because I can't not find my erasable pens. I did have this one and it is starting to work. We'll see, but um, yeah, I have all these different, uh, I put my, so I'm going to go this way and I think maybe that might be why she maybe did it the other way. I don't know, but to me, I don't think it's that big of a deal, so I'm not going to do it, truthfully. So, but I hope everyone's having a blessed day. It is snowing. Today is Thursday. I haven't left the house all week. Had a few locates, but really uh, haven't had to do any. I do have one over there I have to do, but uh, I don't know. We had seven inches the first storm, 
and that one the scanner was quiet I mean it would today it has we haven't maybe had an inch maybe two at the most and the scanner has gone ballistic all morning so um, and it actually says to pin and I'm gonna go ahead I have a hard time grabbing my arthritis is getting so bad in my hands are starting to get so swollen uh, I do have well I'm using I'll show you in a second let me get these done probably gonna you know that might be why because you do have this section but you know I mean could always just um, have a double X. I suppose you could do that. But that might be why, but I'm not really worried about it truthfully. So, because, yeah. Okay. Uh, make sure I have the right one with it. Okay, this is the other one that goes with it. I said I can't I'm pretty sure we got this stuff at a yard sale pretty sure we did truthfully but my memory isn't hmm now I'm more I'm pretty sure we did because yeah because I wouldn't have bought that I mean there was yards and yards of this these two fabrics oh man that dang thing And this is the only one I can find that actually works. I like it because you don't have to worry about the chalk. You know, it's um, erasable pin, so with your iron, heat erasable, so. Man, it wants to be difficult. But. Okay. Yeah, that might be the reason why she does the X in the corners instead of that, but... So, real quick. Now, my bowling might, we'll have to see, I might actually have to do the, um, I mean, I can do it. It's just, I'll do it her way once. So. so, what she did is she creased it right here, hand creased it. She doesn't work very good, so I'm not going to worry about it. I mean, you could do so many different things with the quilting on these. And I got, I'll, I'll have to show them to you. I have the, I brought out all the pieces to this, the kit I bought. So. So I could show them to you. So I'll have to show them to you. But I love this uh, rotatable cutting mat. I tell you, it's just so much easier to do it that way. So yeah, I don't know if cutting the batting the way she showed it or my way. I think my way's much easier. I don't know necessarily how much longer it takes, but I think it's probably easier. Okay. Did I oh I didn't put pins in it. See and this is one I did. And yeah, it wasn't exactly 
but you know really it has an edge on it so this is all going to be turned inside out anyway so I'm not too stressed about it oh something's coughing but yeah I hope you guys are having a great day it's just been a nice beautiful morning with the snow I've really enjoyed it I just enjoy watching the snow and the birds are bonkers and I just can't believe how many birds we have this year it's unreal it really is it's just so surprising they've just been so much fun you know and baby girl she has not been interested in it one bit at all and I tell you this this uh, this year she has just she you know she hours is sitting on the table watching them out and she doesn't do that that's what you know we had a whole bunch during the first snowstorm and that was when I think she just discovered how much fun it is to watch them and she'll just sit and watch them we got so many and we had a was it spotted I believe it's called a spotted towhee I believe that's the name first time we ever had one of those it looks something like a uh, dark-eyed junco or a snowbird really beautiful but I've only seen it one time so I joined um, Colorado birds official page on Facebook just to go through, see what all the birds are we have here I have I have an Audubon book but it's for North America so I mean it's nice to have it just for our area so and then I found was it a trekker I wanted to tell you about this guy I found if you guys are interested in our area southwest you know four corners region you know which is uh, Colorado Arizona um, Utah New Mexico and our area here and I found a guy I'll get my my tablet in a few minutes and tell you before the video is over um, and I've been watching him he looks on uh what's it um, what do you call it uh, Google Maps and uh, oh yeah I did okay I did pin that one okay but that one didn't okay that one didn't go that's why yeah the pins just aren't or my heat pin just doesn't want to work with deadly I really don't want to use my shock pencil but I did find it but okay we're good okay uh, I probably won't worry about mine right now let's mainly okay I got a surprise um, I've been uh, I showed this video when I was trying to get this the old girl running um, I'm gonna go ahead and man I gotta mess with all these cuttings and I really don't have a up right there trash right here so but uh, I do need to still need more pins but here she is you guys seen this I need to plug it in this is I call her Lillian okay so let me um, I'm actually going to change my, um, oh, okay, wait, did they, okay, um, this is my Kenmore Rotary Deluxe, so, uh, let me pause the video, I'm going to get, change my camera angle real quick, and go from there. Okay, I could hope I got my uh, angle right. 
where you can actually see my sewing machine. I'm going to raise this by hand just to show you something. Um, this is, uh, been with us for a while. I bought this at a yard sale, I believe, last year. Mom was here. But anyway, um, this is a Kenmore Rotary Deluxe. And I had to, I got it working. I had it all cleaned up prior to the video, but I've been using it, so it's a little dusty. Uh, but I named her Lillian, and I'll show you why. If you look, the light is a coffin light. So um, I th was trying to think of a good name for her. Let me... And let me get my sorry, I'm trying to um I tried to think of a good name for her and we thought, you know, I asked you guys what you guys thought. Uh we had um um Adam's family Adam's family, which would be Morticia. And I actually never was a big uh, Adam's family fan. I always loved the Munsters. And I really liked the name Lillian, but for Lily Munster, so I named her Lillian, Lily for short. Bad thing is we have a cat named Lily, which is Shell's cat, but that's okay. And so that's how I came up with the name for her. Uh, I dated it, and um, around, it was built in the 30s is about what I can figure out. I know a lot of these have this light, and they're actually newer but with the model or the the serial number and everything i figured out to be about in the 1930s so and so i'm really excited about it and the reason why i wanted to use this instead of my hand crank which uh, is the uh what is it um singer model 66 it's called the red eye and her name is Ida Red, which is a Bob Will song, but Asleep at the Will sings it, and I lo absolutely love that song. So that's why I named uh, it Ida Red. That's why. I know, weird, but that's okay. I'm weird, so I don't really care. But I have a seam guide. If you guys remember, I was given a uh, Morse, M-O-R-S-E, was it M-O-R-S-E? -M yeah, uh, anyway, by a friend from the phone company, he traded me some wood for it. And this seam guide was in here. This one has holes drilled right here. They're not tapped to do a regular, to put a, a nut in here, or, a, you know, a, a thread bolt. And I happened to think of this, so I used Shell's ATG gun, and I put, so, uh, I put the, the tape, the glue right here on the chrome because I knew I'd be able to get it off. Uh, and I put a little tape on it just to keep it. It's at a quarter of an inch. Unfortunately, I don't need it right now because I'm doing straight. But the reason why I wanted to use this one is it has reverse stitch and my singer does not. So, I'm hoping... Uh, hold on. i got to get the other light. I didn't think I was going to need it, but it is awfully dark so oh and there's my pencil sharpener I was looking for. I really I and I also gotta plug my sewing machine in. So my light doesn't work because uh, uh, the ceramic on it is broke. And I've been sorry guys I've been meaning to been wanting to go over to our sports shop he repairs them and I didn't want to get with him and see him. He may have to have another, a, another light like that. But I just haven't been over there with it being winter and everything. So eventually I will. But right now I don't have tons of, tons of light. So, I mean, this is going to be really bright. Let me see here. Might do better. Let me see what. Uh, no, I'm trying to find the best angle. So 
with having that uh, seam guide right there, that's going to kind of mess, well, it's going to make it a little bit harder. Okay, i got to take my slipper off because I can't run my pedal. I'm not used to using these guys. Um, I probably would have converted this to a hand crank if it was possible, but it's actually not. Um, at least I've never found one. Uh, and that's okay, but so so yeah, that's so that's why her name is Lillian. Um, I've been doing work. I well, me a bobbin. But it didn't want to wind, and the rubber on the uh, bobbin wheel was hard, of course. Um, and also the, rub the uh, rubber on the motor that drives the sewing machine, because the rubber runs on the wheel, uh, it was hard too. I mean, it's an old sewing machine. So I managed to buy a wheel for the motor, and I happen to have a rubber for the um, bobbin winder so it was kind of nice you didn't have to worry about it so it's a little slow it's been oiled i've uh dusted it and everything but so may not want to it's going to be a lot harder to okay so i need to kind of pull it Hopefully. Not the straightest sewer guys. That's one reason why I do sew with the sew with the seam guy. Let me put a hoping that I can yeah. No, I probably should have done those opposite, but I mean Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, that looks nice. It. Yeah, I ended up, um, it's gotten moved so much, so I really had to do the tension, I had to change the bobbin tension, uh, but it does so a gorgeous stitch, so, yeah, yeah, I was hoping the little girl would say hi to you, but like I said, she's sleeping, so. I mean, it is just beautiful. Look at that stitch. They um, they say it's an amazing sewing machine. These rotary ones are, uh, you know, uh, singers are. These are backwards from a singer. So, but yeah, it's um, just. Uh, I love to use it. Like I said, this is really the first time, except for testing it, that I've got to use it. But, um, okay. And it doesn't have a button for the, let me show you. That is your reverse right there. Let's see if I can get it. Um, so you move the leather, lever forward or down. So, Sorry, trying to have it not in my way too, but you guys still see it. Okay. And uh, I have to put pads on it, so I have it sitting on a dish towel, so I don't damage my table. You guys, if you've been with us for a long time, you know I love my antiques. Shell bought me a table for my for my birthday, I believe, at one time. Birthday or Christmas one year. It's been quite a while ago. And, oop, that one's a little off, but I'm not worried about it. Okay.
Okay, I'll have to take my pins out. It's a little off, but it's not bad though. Uh, you know. And I could come back, you know, and and draw X's too. I mean, I could. I don't. I'm not gonna worry about it. But um, so let me do this one. Yeah, I, I I'm excited about this sewing machine. I can't wait to to use it more and to show you guys more about it and. Um, but like I said, I do need to find a light because it needs that light. I do have that one LED light that you plug in, um, but I'm not really. The cast chewed on it, it still works. Good. Oh well. Still wants to spin on the wheel is the reason why it's doing that. You know, and back stitching really isn't that big of a deal on these just because you're going to turn it inside out, so it really doesn't matter. much better once I uh, actually use the quarter inch for what it's intended for but yeah the wheel still kind of wants to spin a little bit on my arm on the, the main wheel not sure why I have to work on it but. that that's fat okay but yeah so it's a beautiful day today I, I enjoy watching the snow but I think it's about over what it looks like the well, they nag chloride the the road overnight, and um, might go ahead. So it's really thawing out now. It was super icy there for quite a while, but it seems like it's thawing out now, which is good. But I know they, someone hit a rock west of Cortez in the road, in one of the county roads that goes out to Utah. The Camel Canyon. I know Betty knows where that is. Butler. Um, remember, right? She said, I think it was her mom or grandma used to teach at Battle Rock School. We were just down there um, a month or so ago. Yeah, that one's really off, but I don't know. It's about. Uh, I don't think I'll worry about it. Okay. Let me move this forward just a little bit, and then we'll start this. So, gonna do it like this. Open with my seam guide as long as I. I'm gonna do it this way actually, and I'll just pull it out when I get.
This is definitely where I'm not seeing guys gonna come in handy. But yeah, I mean they these they sell these uh, this is actually made by White Sewing Machine, White Sewing Company, I guess. And uh, all their um, the rotary sewing machines, but they were sold under a bunch of different names. But they say the quality on them is super. They're just a good machine. They're heavy duty. They can go through pretty thick material. So let me. You know, it's not going to be 100%, quarter of an inch, I don't know, that's off a little bit, maybe, I don't know, let me try to move it over just a little bit, I think that might drive me nuts if I don't get it right. <laughs> Yeah, it was why I wanted to. Yeah, I had to look on YouTube how to uh, wind the bobbin and uh, do the uh, how to thread it. I've only done it one time. And we have a video of that. It's a really short video. It's me and Lucy Girl. And that's the one I was hoping. I happened to see it um, this week. And so, uh, boy, that's nice having that reverse. Not used to that, guys, you know, <laughs> not at all. hers open. So. Okay, let me do this one again. Hmm. I think it's fine, actually. I know it can't be perfect. I know that. But I want to get it as close as I can. <laughs> Come on. thread and okay okay Do it again? Oh, I did do it again. Darn it. Huh. Why it's doing that? I might just because that batting is deep, thick. That might be the biggest problem. I don't know. I'm going to have to pull it out and look at it and double check to see. And of course that pin, I'm sure, isn't helping as far as oop. at least I'm getting practice on how to thread the dumb thing hopefully there it is okay let me lift it up to see what transpired um, okay yeah I think my huh definitely 
sold, I mean. But. Okay, let me look at this again. Let me see if I can. Looks like my uh, bobbin actually come. Try and do anything with arthritic hands. It sure sucks, doesn't it, guys? Those of you who know what can be miserable trying to do anything sometimes. And it broke right next to it. I don't really want to have to re. Let me see if I can do it this way. Sometimes you can. Nope. Try again. There it is, maybe. How are you doing? Well, I can't get my bobbin thread. I don't have. Hmm. I can't. I'm going to pause the video and grab a needle nose. Okay, I got it. I began to wonder there. I sure was having a hard time getting it to. Uh, and ended up having to take the cover off to get the... See? Okay. Let's do these next. So yeah, it's been a kind of a slow week. We, I, like I said, we haven't been anywhere. Um, so that's been kind of nice with the way the roads are. I'm not a big... I've driven in so much ice and snow and blizzards and I just fog and I'm getting at that age where I'm just, you know, if you don't have to drive in it, there's no sense in it. And that's kind of the way, I, where I'm at now. I love, love to drive. I used to, she used to, I used to get so antsy. Dad was that way. Dad was always on the go. He always wanted to go somewhere and I was always the one that was driving growing up. Especially when we lived here, when he worked here, um, we'd always, he'd want to drive to Utah or Arizona or someplace, so I drove a lot. But when we first moved in the house, it was, because we were like 25 miles away from town, and I would get so antsy, I was always wanting to go, and <laughs> Shell would... Okay, you know what? It sounds really good. How about a pizza? Just to get me out of the house. And now I hate to leave. And I would rather stay at home. Dang it. Oh, sorry. That was my... Uh, sure I'm wanting to... But now I just, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Can't make me. So that's okay. I mean, definitely more of a homebody than I used to be. So. More home. We take naps pretty much every day. It's already past my nap time. Wait a minute. Huh? How did I do that? Looks like... Oh, it's around the... Okay. It's actually wrapped around the foot of it. That is the weirdest thing. Huh. How I did that, I don't know. Sorry guys, I guess I should have paused the video. But sometimes you don't expect it to be take that long to thread or but Okay. Uh, let's try this again guys. Okay, I did take the I think having those pins right there just ain't helping. Have that. 
There we go. Whoops. We're getting a little bit on the move there. Because I probably don't need that super fast speed, huh? Okay. So since I've been, uh oh, there we go. Look like I had had it bunched up. But it's okay. So I got to do the same thing with the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. There's no sense in you guys watching me do that. I'll go ahead and pause the video and we'll. Um, okay, so we still got this peach to do, and um, so I'm just going to pause it here. I'm going to go ahead and sew it, get it sewn up, get the other one sewn up, and we'll go from there. Okay, I woke up from my nap and started working on the bowls. I ended up. Um, Got all the excess sewn, and I got. Oh, good! Woohoo, hon! <laughs> um, from Ben Hi guys. She's back. there. She's um. So I went ahead and did all the corners like I had shown you. But well, I already did it. I really don't need to worry about showing you the rest of the bowl. And I got it face to face, so um, haven't really. Sure, I don't have any pins here. Let me that for angle for right now. So, hope everyone's having a better afternoon. I guess I don't know. Like I said, I just woke up from my nap. So, uh, I did try her bowl, and it fits perfectly in it. So, you just do your fabric face to face, pin it together told her she's going to get to have her bowl cozy for dinner. She's all flutter. <laughs> oh, baby girl was watching the birds. I don't know where she's now. She's probably sleeping. I ain't kidding you. I bet we have probably 30 birds out there or more. They are just bonkers. I, mean, I can't believe they weren't this way when mom was here. She, I know we got her a bird bird station for, Chris, for Christmas. So um, my brother set it all up for her, and I guess she's been watching the birds back home, which is good. That she really loved to watch them here. But yeah, there was none, nothing compared to what we have now. So, so you just line that up. I probably won't do the whole thing today. I'll probably just do this one that I've already gotten. So that's what I'm doing. So now I ow, I just stabbed myself. So, obviously, I've got to turn this inside out, so that means I have to leave an opening. So, I think what I'm going to do is, oh, let me try to kind of bend, there we go. Okay, let's see, kind of is in my way and I don't. That's right there. I think I'm going to start right here. Actually, probably start. Let's see here. If I start, probably I'm catching something there. Let me start about right here. Ow, dang. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay. I was just noticing on this sewing machine, I can't find a stitch length. I have my... Um, 
the looser tight, the tight, and then I have the forward and back, but I don't know if that has anything to do with the stitch length. I'm not 100% sure. I thought it was more of a speed because if you floor it, it really goes fast. It's on one right now, so I'm going to have to try it just to see if it goes any faster. So, let me, a little bit more. Really don't want it. Okay, yeah, it's going to be fun, isn't it? It's going to be kind of hard to see, I guess, for you, but we'll make it work. Um, okay. So I need to make sure and um, back stitch all that. Because I don't want the stitch to come out when I'm trying to um, get it all sewn. So, okay. using pins. I'm not a big pin. Okay. Okay, let me got a I fed the birds yesterday but man they are going through that bird seed like crazy and I uh, joined a group on Facebook that was uh, I think I told you Colorado birds official and um, they were talking about how they what bird seed to feed the birds here I mean we have different birds on the west slope some uh, at least but um, the black uh, sunflower seeds uh, they really like them they say that like the sparrows can't really eat those so some people don't even feed the sparrows but we feed them all because you know we don't want to you know it's an enjoyment you know to watch them so and then I was telling you about also about our uh, area you know we live in southwest Colorado the four corners and um, I want the trip, dang it, I just had it, the trip planner, the trip planner, if you check out his YouTube, uh, um, he does a lot of uh, Google Maps and searches, and he goes to a lot of the Indian ruins all over the southwest, and he doesn't take anything, you know, he's very respectful, like he said, it's sacred, sacred ground, and it's really a very interesting uh, video. So if you get a chance, you might want to check him out because, yeah, I was really, really impressed watching him. So, but I try, couldn't quite remember what his channel was, you know. But yeah, it's really a fascinating, I've seen, you know, living on this side for so long, I've seen a lot of ruins and even just walking for work, you see ruins, you know. And then, I know I've told this story, but I know a lot of you haven't heard of it. It was shortly after Shell and I were married, I don't remember exactly when, uh, we stopped to pee at the rest area, and it was a little dinky rest area at the time. It was just like a two-hole outhouse thing, you know. And um, Shell was in the bathroom, and I was there was a guy talking to me, and he was telling me about this ruin out towards the back of the property, uh, the rest area property. And he, I ought to see it. Well, I've seen so many ruins, I don't really, you know. And it ended up he was actually going to kill us for our car. He actually killed an elderly gentleman. Uh, and he um, had a dog, and that's how they found the body was the dog was running around. And then that's, but, yeah, and it's a really fancy uh, 
rest area now, but back then it wasn't. But yeah, it makes you stop to think, you know, about, you know, the good Lord watching out for us, you know, because I could have very easily, oh yeah, I ought to, you know, check that out or whatever, but I had, I was so cynical because I've seen so many of them that they're not quite as, um, fun to go look at, you know, so yeah, it's kind of, but it's, it's sad to know that's, that someone died because of that idiot couldn't, you know, had such little regard for a human life just to kill someone for their stupid car. It's ridiculous. But he was caught, and like I said, he's in prison for life, so which is good. Hopefully he'll rot in prison. But it's something to think about. I still think about whenever I, we just never stop there. I usually, uh, by myself, I just go to, I buy a tree. After that, it's kind of hard to go to rest areas after that. I don't like going to them that much anymore. It never used to bug me before that happened, you know. Needle knows they're not always for wire. They come in handy for other stuff. Gotta remember though, I have that one which should be right here. So I gotta stop. It doesn't take that long to really go around them. And then I, uh, well, I seem guys working pretty good. I mean, I'm I'm happy with it. I wasn't 100% sure how I figured it'd work. You know, I was gonna put a dot. You know, um, a bolt in it. I think I told you, but it doesn't have any thread. So I was gonna do a tap, but I don't have the right tap that would fit the bolt that I need to go in. It's just like the one that's on my Singer. So, it's still strange using an electric sewing machine, but can't complain. It's been fun to use, and it really has. I've enjoyed it. Is that? Oh, okay. Oh, that was it, wasn't it? What? There's a pin right there. Where's the pin at? Did I not? Huh. That's weird, isn't it? Somehow I left a pin in there. Let me... Uh, okay. That'll explain why it's not wanting to... Hmm. Doesn't have a head on it. Isn't that weird? Oh, it was the one I had in there. When I pulled it, I must have pulled just the end of it off, I guess. But I could have swore I... Boy, it's hard to... There we go. all out. Let's move my sewing machine back. Okay, honey. Ready to switch it. Okay, there's my opening. I might have needed to do it a little bit more. I know you can use um, a dowel and stuff to do it. I might end up, we'll have to see. Okay, I want to make sure I was in. Hello, is anyone in there? Hello. Sorry. Um, 
not as much fun when she's watching a movie. Okay, let's, oh man. <laughs> oh, you gotta love this. Now, you know, I've done fabric bowl cozies before, but they were never using tin plates. So that was, when I saw that, I was really, the, oh, how nice. And plus, I would, you used a zigzag. You didn't turn it inside out. My first ones, you didn't turn it inside out. And you zigzagged the edge, which I think, you know, you could do a really nice um, pull cozy that way. I mean, oh, hmm. Okay, hopefully, yeah, there we go. Now I got to try to get all the corners. Oh, this is going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. I didn't, you know, they, um, she did the, to get, cut the bulk down. I talked to Shell about that, the edge, and iron it, and I didn't iron anything, because I really wasn't too stressed about it. I asked her what, her, uh, what she would want, since it's hers. She said, there's no sense in doing, making more work for you, yourself. So... I need to, okay. Hey, it actually looks like a bowl cozy, doesn't it? There we go. Looks pretty good. Sure, I get all of them done. Oh, yeah, I got more here. Let's see if I can. Okay, looks pretty good. Yeah, we had a uh, pork stew. It's um, our canned pork. So, so you're supposed to go and go around another quarter of an inch. Get all my points pushed out. Might have to have her uh, do the corner for me because it's just. Sometimes with those little things, you guys know how it is trying to fold them and stuff. Yeah, I was worried when I put the bowl in there, it showed it was super tall. I was thinking, well, but her bowl is also really short, so I was a little worried about it, but so um, probably. Truthfully. But I guess we'll see, but I mean to me it's awfully thick right there. Yeah, it came that's what happened is it came loose. Uh, must have moved on me when I was trying to go around it and it didn't catch that last bit of fabric right there so if I was to do it here
See, I think, um, you know, you could, I would imagine, I guess, you could, um, I would think you could actually stop the batting from going all the way to the edge and then just have on the fabric. Um, so it'd be easier to sew on that. So it's not perfect. I'll work on the next one would be different, but you guys get the gist of it. And that's the most important part. And like I said, you know, she's going to use these. It's not like it's going to sit around. She uses them every single day. <laughs> and I don't, like I said, I just don't use mine unless... I'm not going to try to sew the whole thing. I just think that it's going to be a lot harder than it seems. But, go grab her bowl real quick. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I think I would... I th truthfully think I would do, um, I might do the edging on my singer. Um, doesn't have that friction wheel, that's what it's called, that rubber piece. Uh, on the motor, it's a friction wheel, rubber friction wheel that turns your uh, sewing machine. And my singer doesn't have that, it's a hand crank. So I think it'd be a little bit easier getting this big, um, seam done so i'll be right back let me go grab her bowl okay there it is it's not oh, perfect thing is thick. Sorry. i know it's not perfect hun the fabric didn't catch when i went around so i just sewed it the other ones we did we went all the way around i know it and i i can't do it with this sewing machine the friction wheel it oh. just spins on the wheel oh, but okay. i think i can do it on my singer because it's it can sew thick stuff yeah, I think that's what you want to do. You so, nice. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yay, uh, I finally got one. So, Thank yeah, you. she's been after me for a while to do it. <laughs> and I just haven't done it. So, well, I guess I'm going to call it good. I'm actually getting hungry. We had pork, pork stew. Um, you know, we can't our own pork and we can't our own beef. And we had, she put it in the pressure cooker and it cooked so fast. So that's what we're having for uh, having the rest of it tonight. So it's so good. But yeah, it's not a perfect bowl cozy, but it's going to be perfect for her. And that's what matters. Uh, well, guys, I guess I'm going to let you go. Uh, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. And uh, she said she loves you guys. Please hit the subby button. And thank you for being our YouTube family. I hope you know how much it means to us that you choose to watch our videos. Hopefully we'll have more. I would like to do some more sewing videos, so we'll see. I've been really wanting to piece some uh, quilt blocks together. Yeah, so we'll see what good Lord has in store. But I uh, hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and we will talk to you in the next video. Thanks for visiting. Tut zines. Tut -zines.